What's up, YouTube? This is Brian Pfeiffer, MarketingMeatHead.com, and we got a new generation of Google Analytics, and I'm going to show you how to set it up real quick with Google Tag Manager. All right, so let's get into it here. <clears throat> we got uh, one of my sites here exploring Las Vegas, and uh, I have noticed that uh, on a couple of my sites, I don't think I initiated the um, original Google Tag, you know, Google Analytics. So this is like grayed out. So I got to talk to my uh, the guy that my SEO guy that initiated these properties. But for the most part, this this is going to be blue, okay. And then you're going to see here a little button that says uh, upgrade to uh, uh, GA4, okay. Now we're here in the admin section, okay. And uh, this is what you see when you go into the admin section of the property you're in, okay. So this is how you do it. It's pretty easy. Uh, just go ahead and click upgrade, and then it's going to ask you a couple questions. Uh, I need to create a Google um, Analytics for property, so this is the the new Google Analytics, and then uh, this for some reason is you can't click click that it's not uh not letting you but just go ahead and just create create, create property here okay and uh, it's actually pretty easy okay this is a really simple setup and then um, then you're you're good to go with the new analytics which is obviously an upgrade from the old analytics so um, you're gonna get to this page and you're gonna see here it says tag installation so you're gonna click on this arrow. And this is where things get a little tricky because you've got to create it created a data stream for this website, but then you got to get the tag for this data stream, okay? And then you got to click on this arrow to get that. And this is a G, the measurement ID is what you need here, okay? So you go ahead and grab that measurement ID, all right? And then you're going to go over here to Google Tag Manager, okay? Most likely, if you're watching this channel, you've uh, seen one of my videos. I have a, n a number of videos on setting up Google Tag Manager, I believe. I, I know I have a full setup. Um, but you want to go to that the property, the correct property here. You know, obviously I have a lot of websites, so uh, let's go to um, Exploring Las Vegas, and I think I might have a couple a couple tags here. So there is the property. So this is Google Tag Manager. We're going to go into Exploring Las Vegas. We're going to click on that, and uh, then we're going to go over here to the workspace here, and then we're going to go to the tags. Okay, so workspace tags, and you want to go to your. Um, notice I have uh, two. Um, UA tags here because there's a subdomain as well. So um, I'll just do the one, but it's the same process for the subdomain. So we're going to go to the UA tag, which is the Universal Analytics tag, um, and then this is um you know it's not really trickier, but this is the old Google Analytics. And so what we want to do here is we want to actually click on this and click the little pen and go and grab the new G4 configuration. Okay. So we click the G4 configuration, and this is where you're going to put that measurement ID, the G number. Okay, the measurement ID is going to have a G in front of it. Okay, the old the old analytics I think had a UA or something in front of it. Okay, the G, the G is what we want. And then um, for me, I don't have any other things set up here. I don't have any um, like Google Optimize or anything set up here. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this. Okay, and then once it's saved, okay, uh, you just you, you can submit it or you can do a preview and check it, but uh, I know it works. I've tested it a couple times already. So this is going to be uh, the UA uh, G4 update. All right, just name it whatever so you know what you did here. You can go back and look. All right, so here's what, what it's going to look like, okay? So uh, the new UA uh, is, is pretty nice, okay? Here's um, one of my websites here, this is Progress College, and I installed the... Uh, you can actually install a, a tag manager helper here. It's called Tag Assistant. You just Google search it, and you can see when I click on this, I'm showing my Google Tag Manager and my G, uh, you know, my new G uh, measurement thing. Okay, whatever you want to call it. And uh, notice here, I did it on my other website here, Marketing Meathead, and uh, I'm actually in. Uh, there's the the Tag Assistant. You can see I got the G on here. Okay, and there's my. I got. I'm running Google Optim. I'm running Google Optimize on this site as well, and Google Tag Manager. Okay. So that's uh, that's how you can check. Okay, then once you have that set up, it takes. I've noticed it takes about 15 minutes for it. Must uh, take a minute to cache into their servers uh, before it actually starts recording anything. But um, you can see here the the new analytics. You can tell it this one's here. It's for Progress College, and um, right now if I um, go into real time, I should see uh, one user on here because I'm I'm actually logged in on the same browser, and it's gonna it's gonna recognize that. Um, so there it is. So I, I got one user right now in the last 30 minutes. That's me. Okay. So it is working. Um, and uh, yeah, this this looks pretty nice. It's a whole new dashboard. Uh, you can do some comparisons here. Uh, I did notice. Um, let me go into one of these here. I kept the window open. Oh, here. So this is what it's going to be measuring. Like the the page views, the scrolls. I don't believe um, you could really measure the scrolls and stuff before outbound clicks. So there's a lot more. Um, you know, this this new analytics is kind of like the next level. Okay, so 
Uh, obviously, Google's not going to make a major upgrade into their entire analytics system if it's not way better. Uh, and, and I'm guessing with all the stuff that's coming in the near future with the cookies uh, kind of fading away, uh, this is going to be their um, you know stab at the next generation. So uh, I would highly recommend that you um, upgrade to the new G4 analytics and uh, just create a new property, uh, add in your, um, your G tag, and uh, go ahead and save it, and you're good to go. Because... Uh, now, if we go over here to my other website, Exploring Las Vegas, all right, now this, like I said, it takes about, I've noticed about 15 minutes to cache, uh, but if we go into my UA tag here, we're going to see my uh, Google Tag Manager, uh, there's my um, my Google Tag Manager, and look, it looks like I have an old uh, Google Analytics on here that I'm going to need to take off, okay, so i, I got to remove that Google Analytics um, on there, but there's my... Um, there's my G tag, okay? So that's the G tag that's that's going to be tracking. I need to remove this analytics. Um, I'm guessing maybe that analytics is still on there because of the subdomain, but I'll have to play around with why that's still on there. But I'll, I'll remove that because all you need is this G tag, all right? And then if you go into what we just were working on here, um, you, you go ahead and just click on the home button here. This is I'm in the new um, you know property here, and you can tell right away if it's the old dashboard versus the new dashboard. So uh, let's see. This brought us into the new dashboard because this this is you know obviously a little bit nicer, newer looking, more modern. Now I'm on this site right now, so you know it might take a minute or so to register because I've been noticing about a 15 minute lag before it actually starts recognizing the real time visitors. But um, it, it do, definitely does work. So I, I tested it on at least three different sites now. About 15 minutes and we're we're good to go. But um, that's how you you set up the uh, the new uh, G4 analytics. Uh, with a, um, you know, with the, uh, the Google Tag Manager. So uh, if you guys do appreciate this content, make sure you leave me a comment below uh, and let me know if you like the content or if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. And uh, again, if you found this content valuable, make sure you like it, share it with your friends, and uh, make sure you subscribe and bang the notifications bell. I am the Marketing Meathead. We'll talk to you later.